folks. This little book. This little book, a hundred pages, that's it. And look at the damage it has caused Islam. One book, the first of its kind. Want to see the reaction of the Muslims? We're going to show you two. And Let's turn our attention to Dr. Jay Smith, who is with me here in studio to address those refutations. Dr. Jay, welcome back. Yeah, well, Dan Brubaker certainly caused a, a maelstorm when he came out with his book in 2019, June of 2019. I remember when he came out, the very day it came out, we introduced it at Speaker's Corner two hours after it was in publication. Since that time, uh, the Muslims have been furious. I think it took them by surprise. I don't think they, they realized that uh, that there was this kind of material, this kind of research. No one had done this time of research. You would think the Muslims would do this own research themselves. Why is it an evangelical Christian here in the United States is the one that goes to all these manuscripts all over the world and physically not only visits them, but then takes pictures of all these variants or these corrections. He doesn't like to use the word variants. These are definite corrections. Well, it didn't take too long because once you have a book out there, someone's going to respond. And there have been two responses. Let me look at the first one and let's go to the slide. Go to the slide and let's bring this one up. So here's the first one by this guy named Haidem Sitki. Now take a look who he is. He lives here in the United States. He's a postdoctorate fellow in molecular engineering at University of Chicago. So he is not an Islamicist. He knows, really has no training in this field. Well, he will tell you this is his hobby. I mean, I heard him say that himself. It's a hobby. It's yeah. a hobby. Yeah. And you can see he made some real that. Well, what was fascinating, he in 2021, so we're about talking about two years later, came out with a scathing 15-page review of Dan's book in the journal called Al-Usur Al-Wusta. Uh, Al-Usur Al-Wusta. Thank you. Uh, number 27 in 2019 from pages 273 to 288. 15 pages, scathing review of Daniel. What was fascinating, Daniel told me that he had been in his house. The week before. The week before. And yeah, it was yeah. having dinner with him when he realized exactly. that this, that that this is the, I don't know if he didn't know that this is the Daniel he was confronting, when he realized this is the guy that he just had handed into this scathing interview, he actually apologized to Dan. He said, listen, there's a review coming of your book out. It's going to come out this week. Please forgive me. I didn't realize who you were. Well, Daniel, being Daniel, he was just was very uh, uh, congenial. He accepted it. He said, oh, great, let me see what you have to say. <laughs> it, Daniel has now responded to that. And you can see his article, and it's up online. And Daniel found out that what Sitki did, he said things that Daniel never said. He went way beyond what Daniel had said. Right. Over and over again, he kept on claiming Daniel says this. And so Daniel wrote back, I never said this. I've never made this claim. I've just put it out there. I've just taken pictures, put it so people can see it, and show you that these are changes. But if you're just going to say that every one of these changes are scribal errors, this is just mistakes, ineptitude, possibly. But hold on a minute, complete lines that have been erased, covers, many coverings, these are all ineptitude? And the fact that what is left behind now supports what we now see in the Huff's manuscript? You saw the 16 examples we gave in the last two episodes. Are you saying this is mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake, and there's 4,000 of these in these manuscripts? He's only shown 20, only 20 out of 4,000 that he already has. Wait till you find the other ones he's going to come up. These are intentional corrections, absolutely intentional. So Sitki completely misconstrued, didn't understand what, what uh, Daniel was saying, but misquoted Daniel. And much the response that Daniel said is, be careful, I've not said that. One of the things that Sitki came up with is that Daniel was claiming that these all happened since 1924. Daniel never said that. Yeah, and you're saying Daniel did respond to him, but it In was... In his response, you can go up... Uh, and you can get it online. Just put Daniel, Daniel's response to Haidem Sidki and just put it up online and you can get the response there. Okay. Well, if that wasn't bad enough, another, and this is Dr. Atayar Atakurich. We introduced him quite a bit earlier in one of our episodes. He is the one that has responsible for this book here, the Al-Musaf 
Al Sharif. One of many, actually. Actually, not just this, one. this is the most famous one. This is the Topkapi one, right. and he is the one that's in charge of IRSISA, organization of the Islamic Conference Research Center for Islamic history, art, and culture. It's a huge organization there in Turkey. Key is considered uh, probably the world's leading scholar on the Quran, and rightly so, because he is of that ilk. Well, here, good old hey. Alta Kulic then comes out with an entire book, entire book. There it is right there, called Refutation in 2020. In 2020, January of 2020, he wrote a 109-page book. Now, remember, this book that he's refuting, that's why it's called Refutation, is only 100 pages as well. It's as big as the book he's refuting. Published it under the Irsika title. What's fascinating is he's made many of the same mistakes that Sidki made. But he, here's what I'm curious about. Why in the world would Alta Kulic go to this trouble of writing a book the same size as the book that he's refuting, He's never done this before. There, that entire Irsissa is is created for ma putting out manuscripts. Brother, when, when you issue an entire book saying refutation of Daniel Brobaker, that in and of itself should prompt people to go and buy Daniel Brobaker's work because it's obvious that it hit a nerve. It hit a huge nerve. Exactly. And it's obvious to me also, after seeing how Yasser Qadi responded to us in November of 2020, how he responded this ultra crepidarian uh, material, which had nothing to do with Daniel, how he responded to Daniel, how Alta Kulic is responding to Daniel, is that there have been thousands of Muslims have had these, had these two scholars do that. They needed someone of stature. They needed two people of stature. They needed first Yasakari to come and whale in into Dan Brubaker, making accusations about Dan Brubaker, which he's never said, because he's never talked about the Kira'at. And then you have Alta Kulic himself, wasting his time on someone of Daniel who really is nothing more than a man who has done his doctoral thesis on these changes, proving to me as, uh, that obviously that Dan's small little book has caused immense damage and a clear concern within the Islamic academic circles. Yet what's fascinating, these are only 20 examples. Dan has another 4,000 to go, and he is writing them as we speak. We've just been in contact with Dan, and he has come up and he said, he's, I said, uh, many of us are waiting for Dan to actually respond to reputation. He's all about ready to publish it. So it's about ready to go out there. But he's going to continue. He's got his whole career ahead of him. He's got his whole life ahead of him. He's quite young yet. He has have an enormous amount of material yet. And he's going to go through every one of these 4,000, not just these 20. These are just the first 20. This is kind of wetting their appetite or wetting our appetite. Does that mean we're going to see uh, Refutation Part 2 and Part 3 and Part 4? Part 4, Part 5, 6, all the things. So we're probably going to see uh, Alta Kodich having to write all kinds of refutations. Uh, it's going to be, uh, in his case, it's going to have to, but he's going to have to do a better job than what he did in this book. Uh, but most, all of these are not very difficult. It seemed like, uh, uh, forgive me to say this, and, and I, again, I, I'm, I'm sure I understand where they're coming from and why they have to rush into doing this. And that's the phrase here. It seemed like they rushed into doing it without taking time at least to analyze the issues. Is that a fair statement? I would suggest that they tried their best. I think this is uh, uh, someone that's caught in, uh, they're, they're caught in the corner. You've got to do, you've got to have some type of response. I don't know how they can refute these. I, and I can see this is an awful lot of yelling and screaming and hollering, getting of someone like Sidki, who does not have the credentials to do what he has done. Alta Kulic, who does have the credentials, if he could come out with a better response, where is it? Because refutation is not that response. He's not dealing with all the wholesale changes. And if he's having this much problem with the first 20, well, we've got another 3,980 to go. Right. So he's going to have an enormous problem. And Daniel hasn't even come to conclusions on those yet. Those are all going to come out. But, you know, bless Daniel. He's got his work his whole life 
uh, career uh, cut out for him uh, because he's going to be the man of changes. And this is just going to be a thorn in the side for Alta Kodic. It's going to be a thorn in the side for the Sitkis of this world. It's going to be a thorn in the side for the Yasat Qadis of this world and also for any Muslim that continues to make this claim that the Quran has never been changed. If you're going to continue to make this claim, the Quran has never changed, not word, word, not one letter, you're going to have to deal with Dan Brubaker. You're going to have to deal with Hatun Tosh. You're going to have to deal with us. Right. What are we talking about next? Now we're going to change and we're going to know looking at looking internally at the Quran, what about the historical problems? There's an enormous amount of historical anachronisms. We're going to show you some of them. As it relates to the Quran. As in the Quran. Yes. Looking at the Quran, we're going to look and see these historical anachronisms within the Quran itself. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, hopefully you can join us next time. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Sierra International, and click on the bell so that you receive notifications whenever we publish a new video or go live. I would also like to appeal to you to consider becoming a Patreon patron by clicking the link right below. By doing so, you can give towards the production of these videos. There are also other options for you where you can give to our channel. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.